Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. As you can see, we have tons of trees on our property. In fact, the large majority of the property is wooded. We definitely plan on taking advantage of this resource and have purchased a Harbor Freight sawmill to help us out. As many of you know, Harbor Freight makes a pretty decent sawmill. It's not without its problems and that's what we're going to address in this video. The first thing I wanted to do was remove the actual arm stabilizer that locks the log onto the table. This particular component has been giving us issues from the beginning, and we'll get into that later, but for now we're just going to get it out of the way, set it aside, and then we'll work on it when time comes. This sawmill is built as a portable sawmill, which, <laughs> let's be realistic, would be a huge pain in the butt if you're trying to move this thing around and level it out. So we're going to fix that. We are going to go ahead and turn this particular track system into a mobile sawmill by putting wheels underneath it and actually giving it some real support. For shipping purposes, Harbor Freight sends the track of the sawmill in two sections. So you have two five-foot sections of track that you combine together in the middle which creates a weak point and a point where you're always going to have issues and flex and you're never going to have a smooth transition between those two points unless you weld it so what we're going to do is weld the center section together and create one long piece of track it's very important that we make sure that everything is square before we weld it we need to make sure that the carriage itself is square and that the track is square and that they both work together smoothly because once we make our welds we're really not going to be able to go back with our vertical supports loose we can now square the saw to square the carriage I'm using my auto body tram gauge to measure diagonally corner to corner and then match that measurement diagonally to the opposite corner to corner Okay, we've got her lined up well within specifications. Um, well, there are no specifications. And honestly, when you push it, when you push it, it actually twists in that direction. But so it doesn't matter that much if it rolls forward and backwards or if it's off a little bit in that direction. But, but I want it to be perfect so that when I set the track and I lock the track down in its welded position, I know that this is going to fit. Pretty simple. Oh, looks like I did. Folks, don't weld next to your GoPro. Now I gotta buy new glass. Well, folks, that's pretty much it for the day. That's all I had time to do. We're just going to lay down some welds on these corners, and then we can move it outside and bring it back in when we're ready to work on it again. This particular build is going to take a little while because I'm working on this at work in between jobs. But I have to have it ready for late spring, early summer, because we're going to get into some serious logging on the property. It's going to be a whole series of one-man logging operation, and I promise you don't want to miss it. <laughs> 